In this video, we're going to explore the use of ADAPT Modeler and its integration with ADAPT PTRC to determine post-tensioning forces and profiles for two-way slabs. We'll be using ADAPT Builder 2019, and we want to make sure in the opening screen here that we select the option here for PT Strip Mode. That allows us to export the strips that are created to ADAPT PTRC. We're going to deselect all programs here, and that will default us to Modeler, which can be used again to generate the design strips. We'll select OK, and let's go ahead and open an example model. We have a two-way PT slab. The slab has no post-tensioning modeled in this environment. This model was actually converted from a drawing file or a Revit model, and our intention really is to generate design strips that will create uh, tributary regions that can be then designed for post-tensioning. We're going to mainly use Modeler as a way to generate those strips and then we're going to push everything over to PTRC. In order to generate those design strips under the PTRC export dialog or ribbon we can select and draw support lines in the X and Y directions. In this model that's been done if I go to the X direction We've essentially drawn support lines along the X frame lines. You can see these support lines that I'm highlighting. We also have uh, support lines here. This is a complicated area where we have two support lines that merge into one point. There we have a single span and then a multi-span support line. And in the other direction, in the Y direction, we also have similar type of a setup where we now have frame lines in the Y direction. It would be similar to a user generating two-way slab strips in ADAPT PC, uh, PTRC natively without using a three-dimensional tool to actually generate those strips and push them to that program. So this can save a lot of time in compiling and generating the necessary information to design this slab. Once the strips are generated and set up, we're going to generate the actual tributary regions. And the program may give a few warnings depending on how the strips were set up. We can ignore most of these warnings if they comply with certain constraints in setting up those strips. So we'll just go ahead and select yes to this. For any individual strip, for example, for this two span strip, I could double click on the strip, use the option here to go to the model render. And this is the data that will be sent over to PTRC. I could actually send that directly from this solid modeling environment, selecting the PT option. It will launch that program, Adapt PTRC. We can go right into the program. If we use the option for PT input, I'll go ahead and unlock this model. If we unlock the model, then we're running everything now natively inside of PTRC. We don't have the opportunity to send the, the tendons back to Builder. If I do not unlock the model, leave that unlock or leave it locked rather, I could go through this uh, environment, finally end up executing the model. The program will generate the post-tensioning, and we can then import that back into, PT or into ADAPT Builder. For this example, the program has determined a force of 581 kips and also left, center, and right profile points, which define the shape of the cables. And those cables can be seen here under graphs. This is what ADAPT PTRC designed for that one strip that had been imported from, from ADAPT Modeler. We'll go ahead and exit out of the recycler. Once we've exited, the program then gives a reminder that those tendons that were designed in ADAPT PTRC can be imported into ADAPT Modeler if required. If, we, if the user wanted to run that model in ADAPT Floor Pro for some reason, we have the ability to import the tendons into that inner. So for this particular strip, I can use the option here to import the tendons from ADAPT PT. And the tendons are shown here in the model. So if I turn off the support lines in the Y direction, just go to a 3D view, we can see the tendons imported right there. I'll go ahead and turn the display of the tendons off. Coming back to the design strips, we can also select any design strip send it directly to PTRC using this option. And finally, we have a third option to export all of the .adb files that are interpreted by ADAPT PTRC using this option here. This will compile all, all of those files, set those up in a strips folder for this model file, 
uh, structure, and those can then be opened directly from ADAPT PTRC. In summary, the workflow using ADAPT Modeler and PTRC would be to model the structure, model the, the floor plate. This could also be done by importing a CAD file, converting that file to a model, or using a Revit file and just importing that directly into Builder. The user would then set up the support lines, which are used to generate design strips. We would generate the strips and then execute either individual strips using these two options, or we could set up all strips using this third option here. If you have any questions or comments, please contact adaptsupport at resa.com.